Hey YouTube, this is Call Sign Rockstar. Um, Call Sign Mustang ain't here. He uh, he wished he could, but I was really eager to uh, go ahead and start doing this. And uh, so he gave me the go ahead to go ahead and start doing this without him. But uh explain to you what we got going on here. Um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about stippling. Um, this is a big, uh, big thing that's going on right now. It's happening uh, with all the tactical gurus. Everybody wants to do it. Uh, whether it be their polymer frame pistol, P mags, um, some of the other stuff that we got out here. Um, you know, we're talking about doing uh, our um, grip for our uh, Glocks or even our stocks or shotgun. Anything that has a polymer type to it, we can do a uh, our stippling to it. Um, I have yet to do stippling, and I just wanted to show you guys um, my first start of it and kind of walk you guys through the process. Um, I've done a little bit of research on it, talked to a lot of people who do do it, and they're uh, very, very good at it. But uh, I thought I'd give it a shot, share this uh, with you guys, and uh, we'll show you some of the uh, products once we get done. I'm going to show you some of the things that I uh, I intend to work on. I got a uh, uh, stock right here to a uh, Remington 870, um, a pistol grip to another 870 that I have, and then um, I have two of my Glock magazines. And uh, for my uh, Glock 23, but as you can see right here, this is the uh, the standard 23. Um, this is a uh, 13 rounder. Excuse me, it's a, yeah, 13 rounder. And um, I got my 22 round. This is factory Glock. But one thing is, when I stick my 22 uh, round mag in there, I have all that extra space from here to there. So I'm thinking maybe actually doing a stippling job right here, but also be able to get this. Um, do my stippling job only up to enough to where I can also put it in my Glock 35 because they're both uh, uh, this is compatible for both of them. I also got a uh, extra uh, pistol grip right here for the uh, AR-15 and I got my AR here so I can actually match it up figure out exactly what I want to do. Um, not just stippling I'm also going to be trimming some pieces down and uh, trying to get this grip to uh, contour to my hand as best possible. Um, doing the stippling right here in between uh, the uh, PMAG um, doing stuff like that. I'm going to play around with different techniques. Um, spotting, big spots, lines, you know, you name it, I'm typically going to try it. And I also got these uh, these uh, mag mag pull uh, grips for my uh, Glock mags. So I'm going to try to do some stippling on those, see how that comes out. Um, but uh, like I said, I, I ain't never stippled before, so we're going to give it a shot. Um, the setup that I got so I can do my stippling, a lot of people, they prefer to use... A soldering iron what I got right here is this is a uh, Weller this is a, um, a wood burner so you can see right there in the picture if it can uh, focus there we go um, this is pretty much burning the wood so you can do engravings and customization stuff like that uh, the neat thing about this was is it came with a bunch of different types of tips so I get to play around with it see which one works best next thing that I got I got this uh, Dremel it's 2000 series um, so pretty much between these two items right here, everything else I already had, but between these two items, uh, it ran me about $79. So if uh, you do plan to get some stippling done to some of your work, uh, you can you know you can usually pay to somebody to stipple your Glock for about 40 bucks. But if you have all these items just like this that you plan to stipple, um, you know it might be worth the investment of spending $70 and you get to do everything you want and you get to do it your way. Um, you know people really know you. So uh, these are the items I have. I'm going to play around with it, see what works best for me, and uh, show you guys some of the products. Thanks for watching.